Hello and welcome everyone to AnugoTrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are discussing about BI feature of SAP Analytics Cloud. By far in this video series, we have discussed how to create a quiet data model using Excel sheet. We have also created our post story and added a geomap with data points. In the last session, we have also added a time series chart with a live forecasting feature. And in this session, we will see how to add a stack chart with multiple data set. So let me switch over to the system. And now we will go back to our SAP Analytics Cloud. And this is where you can see we have added last time the forecasting feature by choosing an option called forecast. And we can also choose different algorithms. If you've not seen that video, please click on the I button. And I would like to go ahead and quickly add a new chart at the bottom. So let me click on the chart button. And you can see a chart has been added at the bottom. And we can just probably expand this chart a little bit. And let's choose the chart type as a stack chart. So I would like to go with a stack bar column chart. And I would like to implement it as horizontal. And maybe we can go with a measure. And that's where I will choose measure as number of cases. And let's switch over to maybe a vertical chart. And now I would like to add a dimension. So I'm going to add a stack dimension, which includes uh, probably the country territory code or probably con continent ex expressions. And there you go. You can see the data for different continents. Now, together with that, I will also go ahead and add the date representation within the same chart. So now you will be able to see that I have the date representation and in form of hierarchy over here. So once I go back to the system and I will expand this hierarchy over here to maybe level five or level four, I can see the different data set for different groups. And maybe we will also apply a filter over here only to see the data for the current year, last three months. So let me go ahead and add data for the year 2020. And please also show me the data for only last three months. So we can say, show me for June, September, and April. And now you can see what data is coming up. But we wanted to add this as a, as a stack chart. So we don't want to see all the continents as a different uh, chart items. Rather, we wanted to see them all as a stack chart. So how do we achieve that? So I will go ahead and tell my chart that this continent expression should be a color rather than a dimension. So let me drag it over here to the color section. And voila, you can see I have got here my data for April, May, and June, which is now showing my continents as colors. You can also change the color palette based on the convenience or, uh, or the look and feel you would like to have. Probably I'll go with this one. And I can see different colors. Maybe let's drill down more uh, to the number of days level. So I will go to the hierarchy. And I will say in these last three months, drill me down to the date-wise cases per continent. And now we can see a beautiful chart with the number of days. And for each date, how many cases have come in each of the continent is visible down, down there on our stack chart. How beautiful this looks. And this is all possible on live data as well, coming from an SAP system, be it S4 HANA, BW, or a BI system. And this is what we will be learning throughout our course when you attend the live session with Anubo Trainings on SAP Analytics Cloud. So I hope you enjoyed this demo session, and I will see you in the next video.